the Matt Baker murder trial in McLennan County last week, we heard a lot of computer-related evidence, things like Internet searches and email correspondence. There's a new program at TSTC. It's the Digital Forensics Technology Program that's teaching its students to find that type of evidence to help solve crimes. That's why this morning we are at TSTC with Network Security Technology Department Chair uh, Derek Smith and one of the senior instructors in that program, Linda Shorter. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Linda, first, what exactly, when you're talking about digital uh, forensic technology, what is this? Digital forensic, forensics technology, digital forensics is actually you go out and uh, collect and get evidence off of digital information, I mean off of digital media, which we have stuff here that shows all the, the phones, the PDAs, even the little, um, the portable drives, hard drives, it's everywhere. Derek, is this the kind of work that we're seeing the investigators do on shows like CSI? Yeah, it's, it's the digital version of forensics. It's also called computer forensics. And uh, yes, it's, it's basically analyzing and, and documenting information from different devices and laptops and computers to possibly be used in court as evidence. So Linda, what kind of things are, do specialists look for when they're using these different technologies? Uh, they look for dates and times. They look for deleted uh, documents that people think they have deleted, but they're still there. They look in the um, slack space of computers, uh, hard drives where stuff may still have fragmented files. Um, pretty much they, they're looking for anything that might help them solve a case just like in a regular uh, criminal case. Derek, how new is this field? Well, let me back up and give you a little history about our digital program. We've had a certificate program out here for several years. Uh, it was an advanced program, and basically the way it was set up, you had to have a degree before you got into it. Um, we were getting a few students in there, but they weren't staying uh, very long, mostly because they'd already graduated with a regular degree, and I guess they needed to get a job, pay back their loans and things. So. Lynn and I got talking one day and said, well, we need to, this is a good program, we need to change the format up a little bit. So we started throwing some things on paper, and I went to my boss, Cindy Kimbrell, which is the cluster director about it, said, we need to turn this over to an associate's program. And she thought it was a good idea, and we took it to her boss, which was the vice president, Ron Sanders, and he gave his blessing uh, on it. And uh, at last November, it was approved as an associate's degree, and it really took off. I had... To, Within two weeks' time, I had signed over 70 students uh, up there, and, and it's, it's, it's really going right now. Well, Derek and Linda, we sure do appreciate you being with us this morning. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks you. for having us. There is more information about the Digital Forensics Technology Program online at kwtx.com slash buzz. That could be a cool job. Oh, yeah. I mean, you see the show like CSI or something like that, and... It's it's pretty wild stuff that they find, you know. You, like she, like Linda was just saying, you delete something and you think it's gone, but then you got these specialists come in and they find it. I got some stuff I wish they'd find. All right.